Hello, viewers. Good afternoon. Today is another session of the FMAT's BEC tutorial class. I'm going to take you through polygons for today's session. And I hope that by the end of the lesson, you'll be able to understand what polygon is, type of polygons, how to find some of the interior angles of the polygon, and then also consider some of the exterior angles of the polygon. So basically, when we talk of polygons, polygons are closed figures with all sides being line segments. Or polygons can also be a plane figure with finite number of sides. So a polygon is a closed figure with finite number of sides. For the sake of our lesson today, we will look at a regular polygon and then an irregular polygon. So when we say a regular polygon, it has got all sides being equal. An irregular polygon is the vice versa. So it has got all the sides not always equal. So if you consider a polygon, say a pentagon, a pentagon is a polygon with five sides. So we can have, let's say, two sides being equal, the remaining three will not be equal. And that will classify it to be an, let's say, irregular uh, pentagon. So as I said, we have a regular polygon. We come to talk of irregular. Okay. We will emphasize more on regular polygons. Or why do we need polygons in our lives? We can consider our structure that we've built. For instance, the traffic lights or the traffic signals we see all around daytime, in the evening, they have been molded into shapes of, say, a square, a rectangle, a triangle, and all these are, what, are polygons. The tables that we use in our offices, they can be molded into this type of what, of polygons. So you can have a regular table with five sides which is a pentagon. So it's all about a way that we try to mold, to mold one figure or one plane shape into another. That's why we need uh, one of the applications of what? Of polygons. So let's consider the least polygon. So we can have a triangle. So let's see the forms of all types of polygons. So the first one we are going to consider is a triangle. We can talk of quadrilaterals. Of 
octagon, nonagon. Let's end it with decagon. So there are more polygons we could make mention of. So a triangle is a type of polygon with three sides being equal. And then we can also talk of quadrilateral. It's also a type of polygon with four sides. And then it has got four interior angles. The same way a triangle has got three interior angles. Pentagon with five sides. And then that means you have five interior angles. Hexagon with six. Heptagon with seven sides, octagon eight, monagon nine sides, and then decagon ten. Okay. So now let's think of the relationship between the sum of interior angles of a regular polygon and then the sum of exterior angles of a regular polygon. So we are going to come up with a formula which will help us to determine the sum of interior angles of any given polygon, regular polygon. So you could start with a triangle. So if I have my triangle of this nature, we are saying that this is a regular polygon. And I'm going to this is what an equilateral triangle. So this triangle has got three interior sides, I mean S, I, Z, T, E, S. And it has got three sides, S, I, D, E, S. So if I have A, B, and C, these are the interior angles. So let's say this is on E, I will use X, I will use Y, and then we use here Z. So whenever we sum these interior angles of this regular polygon, so x plus y plus z should be equal to 180 degrees. In a particular section, once we deal with measurements, so here the idea is that we construct an arc at this point, another arc at this point, with the same measurement. So along the day, we cut this angle, we cut this angle, we cut this angle, and then we arrange it. So when we arrange it, it forms that of a semi-circle, which we connect in angles that the sum of angles on a straight line is what 180 degrees. So it tells you that. Once this one is a regular polygon, x is equal to 60 degrees, y is also equal to 60 degrees, and then z is also equal to what? 60 degrees. So, knowing any of the angles in this case, it's obviously for us to tell that other sides are also what? Are also 60 degrees because we have it's regular. So let's think of a quadrilateral. So you have a quadrilateral with four sides. How do we come up with the sum of interior angles of this quadrilateral? So the idea is that we have four vertices. Okay. Now we choose a common vertex and try to what, to come out with a triangle, which is the, the basic of all the, all the types of polygons. So if I use this vertex, I cannot use this vertex. 
or this one or that one. So you choose one of these four. So if I choose this one, from here, I draw a line to touch any of the other vertices. And here, from here, you can see that from here to here, we have a line drawn. From here to here, we have a line drawn. From here to here, we have another line, and that. So these are the line segments we made mention of. So if I choose this common vertex here, the only line I can draw to touch any other vertex is to move from here to this vertex. So it turns out that when we consider a quadrilateral, we can have two triangles. So let's say this is triangle one and this is what triangle two. Okay. And in these triangles, we have learned that the sum of angles in a triangle is 180 degrees. So it turns out that here we have 180 degrees here. And this one too is also 180 degrees. So along the day, when we sum these two, it should give us for 360 degrees. That's why we say the sum of angles in a regular quadrilateral, interior angles, is equal to 360 degrees. Okay. Let's think of another one, pentagon. So I have But we consider it to be a regular pentagon. So we have these angles. So we have a pentagon of five sides. So here to we took off choosing a common vertex, one vertex. So if I use this vertex, how many triangles can I describe? Or can I come out with? I can form from this vertex to this vertex. So it gives me one triangle, which is 180 degrees. I can also use this same vertex and join it to this vertex. So if I have here A, B, C, D, E. So I have one triangle, another triangle, and that. So this one too is 180 degrees. This is also 180 degrees. So it turns out that for a regular pentagon, the sum of interior angles will be equal to 180 degrees plus 180 degrees plus 180 degrees. So you have 1624. So we have two. And that will give you 540. So this is how we come up with the sum of interior angles of these regular what, polygons. So for a pentagon, we've seen that the sum of interior angles will give us 540 degrees. If it's a quadrilateral, we are going to have 360 degrees. And if it's a triangle, we have 180 degrees. Now, what is the relation? So we have to come up with a relation between the sum of interior angles and then the number of sides of such um, regular polygon, the number of triangles we have been able to, work, to come up with. So for instance, if I consider a quadrilateral, we say it's what? It's a four-sided 
um, plain figure. But how many triangles were we able to form or to come out of it? Two. So the difference or the reason here is that given any number of what? Or given any regular polygon, if you want to know the number of triangles that you need to come out of it, you have to what? Reduce the number of sides of that regular polygon by two. So here we have a quadrilateral. By the end, we are able to have two triangles. So it turns out four minus two will give you two triangles. So the regular polygon minus the number of minus two will give you the number of triangles. When it comes to pentagon. We have five equal sizes. By the way, how many triangles did we get? One, two, three. So if I deduct two from five, I get three triangles. So for any given regular polygon, so we are now trying to come up with a formula to find the sum of interior angles of a regular polygon. So if I have n sided polygon, n sided polygon, what would be the number of triangles? The number of triangles is what? n minus 2. So if I consider a hexagon, Hexagon is a six sided figure, regular polygon. So, if I want to move the number of triangles, six minus two, and that will be four. And we can demonstrate this. If it is heptagon, that is seven minus two, which gives you five. Octagon is eight minus two, which gives you six. And it continues like that. So, once you don't know the number, or you don't know that particular polygon, that's why we are telling us what the n sided polygon. So for us to have the number of triangles, we subtract 2 from that. And that's why we have n minus 2. So at the end of the day, if we want to know the sum of interior angles of that particular polygon, what do we have to do? We just multiply it by what? By 180 degrees. This is coming from the fact that when we pick each, each triangle that we were able to form in that particular polygon, we were able to have that the sum of angles in that particular triangle is 180. So we just multiply 180 by the number of what? Triangles. And that gives you the sum of interior angles of the particular polygon. So if you see in your books that the sum of interior angles of any given polygon, regular polygon is n minus 2, times 180 degrees. This is how long they, they got it. So now we have that the sum of interior angles of a regular polygon is given by a minus 2 times 180 degrees. Let's say this is the sum, S. So if I give you that example 1, find the sum of the interior interior angles of a regular of a regular non -album. How should we find it? 
So lunar gold is a regular gold ball with my size. And that represents what? The N. So here we write that N is equal to what? The number of size. The number of size of the follicle. So once I know the number of size, it becomes easy for me to find the sum of interior angles. So here you write sum is equal to 9 minus 2 times 180 degrees. And that gives us 7 times 180 degrees. So you write your 180 degrees, multiply by what? By 7. So 7 times 0, 8, 7, 8, 5 is 40. 8, 7, 48. 8, 6, 48. So 8, 7, what? 56. So you write your stage to remember 5. And then 7 times 1 is 7 plus 5, which is 4. So, so this gives you 1260 degrees. This is the sum of four interior angles of a regular lunar bone. And you can think of other ones. Decarbon and what have you. Now, how do we get the sum of an exterior angle? But before that, let's bring in this idea. Once I know the sum of interior angles of that particular regular polygon, how do I find each interior angle? So, like I said, in the case of pentagon, we have 540 degrees for the sum of interior angles. So, if I want to know each interior angle, what do I have to do? I have to divide this sum by the side of that regular polygon. So once this is a pentagon, you are saying that this is the sum. So if I want each interior, so each interior, each interior of any regular polygon is given by the sum of interior angles of that particular polygon divided by what? By the number of sides. So we said that the sum of regular polygons of a pentagon is 540. So 540 degrees divided by 5 will give me each interior angle. So what would be? So 5 into 540. So 5 into 554, um, which is what? 10? Okay. So that will give us 50. We subtract to get to 0 and then 4. Okay. So that will give you 5, 8 is 40. And that gives you 108 degrees. So once you know the sum, you can find each interior for this particular case. And that is 108 degrees. So, so this is the formula for you to have each interior. Now, let's consider the sum of exterior angles of a regular polygon. So here we are putting on our previous knowledge. So the sum of exterior angles of a regular polygon. Let me use the easiest one. Let's consider a triangle. So all these are interior angles. Right? Now, I can extend any of these lines to have my exterior angle. So if I extend it this way, 
So basically, if I extend this line, this becomes my exterior angle. So if I say here is A, B, C, I can write here as D. So then, I have to also extend this line. So once I extend this line, this becomes my exterior angle. So let's say this is E. Then I will extend. Um, so let me move this way. That okay. So let me extend this one. So this becomes my exterior angle. So E F. In the particular section, what we do is that we will cut these angles because we do it with um, accurate measurement. So you cut this angle, cut this angle, and cut this angle, and then we arrange it. So when we arrange it, we form a circle. That's the basic idea. So whenever we cut these exterior angles, it forms a circle, right? And we've learned in angles that angle at the point gives us what 76 degrees. So that is the idea we are using here. So the sum of the interior angles of a regular polygon is 360 degrees. So if I want to know each exterior angle, so each each exterior angle is also equal to 360 degrees divided by what? the end, which is the number of what? sides. So I can ask that find an exterior angle of a regular hexagon. Given that the sum of its exterior angles is what? No, it's because we know that. So if I want to find that, So we consider a hazard, we say a hazard. So the exterior angles of this hazard will be equal to 360 degrees. So if I want each exterior, we can say it is equal to 360 degrees divided by all. By A, and that is going to give us 360 degrees divided by what? By 6. And that will be equal to 60 degrees. So let's Come on with something. Um, now we know that each exterior, each exterior is given as 360 degrees divided by n. Then we said that each interior is also given as n minus 2 times 180 degrees divided by n. So what can we say about these two formulas? So we have this exterior, we have this for each interior. So the idea is that when you take this factor, so 180 degrees divided by n, when you take this and you multiply by 2, it gives us this one. So let's say that this is a constant. 
So the ratio here is that twice this one will give her that of what uh, each x squared. Because you're going to get that is to divide by n. So just continue this part. So now we, we know how to find interior angle. We know how to get some of interior angles. Um, we see the relationship and then let's solve some questions. lunch with your father or your brother, you go to the restaurant, then they set the table, then you look at the shape of the table, hey, this table looks like, let's say, a heptagon. So you know that a heptagon is a regular polygon with seven sides, being equal. So you don't need to worry yourself to know which angle represents each bigger thing? Yeah. Because you know the sum, and you can come out with the number of triangles as 4. So 4 times 180 will give you the sum of the angles of that particular vector form. And you find each one, then divide by what the number of sides. So our first question, we are going to consider, um, he said that how many, how many sides, they always change the question, but the answer is both together the same. So how many sides does a polygon As a polygon have, if the sum, if the sum of its interior, sum of its interior angles is one thousand two hundred sixty degrees. So we have solved a question under this. So here, what we did was that we found the sum of interior angles of this polygon. So that's our solution. How many sides? We need to find the sign of n. That is what we are looking for. So we come up with the formula, and this. You don't need to brainstorm it because you know how to get it. So we said that the sum of interior angles of any regular polygon, which is noted by S, is equal to the number of sides minus 2 times 180 degrees. Now they are giving us the sum. So it means that 1, 2, 6, 0 degrees is equal to N minus 2 times 180 degrees. We are looking for n. So what do we do? Here, yeah, so you can divide 2 by 180 degrees. Or you can also expand. So let's expand. That is what so one two six zero. This comes out to give you one hundred and eighty degrees times n minus two times one hundred and eighty degrees. We put it in brackets. So we have one two six zero degrees equal to one hundred and eighty degrees n minus three hundred sixty. Degrees. So 
we transpose this to the side that gives us um, 1, 2, 6, 0 degrees plus 3, 6, 0 degrees will give you 180 degrees in. So what is this? So you have 1, 2, 6, 0, 3, 6, 0. So 0, 2, 6, 1. So 1, 6, 2, 0. So 1, 6, 2, 0 degrees is equal to 180 degrees in. So once we're looking for n, we have 1, 6, 2, 0 degrees is equal to 180 degrees. Divide 2 by 180 degrees. So what is your n? So you have n is equal to 1, 6, 2, 0, divided by 1, which is the same as this one. I just want the n to be at the left hand side. So we use your uh, log division approach and you can see that let's try and write it out. Here we just take 180 degrees and then we try to multiply it by some um, values. So if I paste 180 degrees, let's say times 8. So 8, 0, 0, 8, 8, 64. I write my 4 over 6. Then 8, 1 is 8 plus 6, 2, 1, 4. So I'm not getting 1, 6, 2, 0. Then I can try other number. So 1, 8, 0 degrees. Let's say times 9. So this is 0. And then 9, 8 is 72. So I write my 2 to the 7. Then my 1 is 9 plus 7, which is 16. So it turns out that here our number of sides is equal to 9. So once we are able to come up with number of sides, the next question that they can ask you is that name that regular polygon. So you know that a regular polygon with nice size is called a lunar one. So all these are some of the questions that we can ask. And once you know this, you should be able to give the scientific name of the new Next question. Here they didn't tell us the sum of interior angles. 
They are saying that an interior angle, which means that each interior angle of that regular polygon measures for 60 degrees. This is the key idea, we have to get it. So once we know how to find each interior angle, we'll be able to find the number of what, sides. If you use this formula, If you are saying that it is n minus 2 times 180 degrees is equal to the sum, then for each, what do you do? You divide 2 by what? By n. And that gives us what? The sum. So how do we solve it? So we come up with some solutions. Let me clean this up. So it tells us that 
here, the number of sides, or say how many sides that the polygon have, we conclude that the polygon, the polygon has three sides. And what polygon is this? This is basically a triangle.
So therefore, um, we have 15 degrees. This implies that 15 degrees plus 30 degrees plus 45 degrees plus 110 degrees plus 120 degrees plus the sixth one which we are representing as y should be equal to 360 degrees. So this is 45, 90 plus 110 which is 200. So this gives us 320. So we just have 320 degrees plus y is equal to 360 degrees. We want y. So our y is equal to 360 degrees minus 320 degrees. And you want y is equal to what? 40 degrees. So that's the size of the seat exterior angle. So we will pick, I think, our next two questions. Next two questions, and then we can end it for the day. Right. Okay. And 
The term here is each interior, definitely is going to be an angle or a size. Into the x and z. So once you know that octagon is a sided regular polygon, it means that here our n is equal to 8. So if I want to see n, you put a there. And that gives you 8 minus 2 times 180 degrees divided by what? By 8. And this will be simplified as 6 over 8 times 180 degrees. So I always advise my students that in this case, don't worry yourself to multiply 6 by 180. So here you have to give you a very good number, which will be not able to simplify. So we just write 6 times 180 degrees divided by our 8. And then let's come up with some common factors. So if I use 2, 2 can divide 6 and 4 by 8. So 2 divides that of 6. I have 3 times 180 degrees divided by 4. Then I fix the same 2 and that of what? 18. So 2 divides 4 as 2. This is what? 90 degrees. So I now have 3 times 90 degrees divided by what? 2. 2 can divide into degrees. So 2 divided into 1. And that will be degrees as well. 45 degrees. So my final answer for this question, each interior, is 3 times what? 45 degrees. And now it becomes uh, more simplified than when we were here. So 45 times 3 will give you what? 185 degrees. And that is this one. So 45 times 3. So 3, 5 is 15. We have 1. And then 3, 4 is 4 plus 1. And this was 13. So your final answer here for each interior is equal to 1. I'm going to identify the board. Degrees. So that is all that for today. We made mention of polygons as a plain shape or figure with many angles. That's the meaning of polygons. So that particular figure has got many angles. That's why it's polygon. And we said that um, we can define it as a plain figure or a closed figure with finite number of both sides. Okay. And these sides are also line segments as an impression of. We learned that of regular polygon and irregular. Regular has all sides being equal. Irregular with different sides. And then we came out with how to find the sum of interior angles of regular polygon, which we learned that is n minus 2 times what? 180 degrees. We were able to come out with how we found um, n minus 2. So given any regular polygon, the number of triangles will be given as well, n minus 2. So n here is for the regular polygon. So that 2 from it, we get the number of triangles. And know that that number of triangles has got each interior sum to both 180 degrees. So times that will give you the sum. So if you want each divide by what? By n. And then we also learn that of what? Exterior angles. You sum them, you get 360. Each exterior will be equal to 360 divided by what? By n. And you are free to go. So that's what we've learned for today. And I'm very much sure that you've been able to, work, to communicate very well. And probably we'll meet next week. So this is Jacob Matt. And we'll come your way next week with a different session altogether. Stay safe.